Hey friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and in this video today, I'll be talking about 5 amazing tips you can use on Windows 10 to speed it up. So let's have a look at them one by one. So friends, the very first thing we'll see is how you can disable the unnecessary animation uh, that are there in Windows 10. So to do that, uh, right click on your Windows Start menu and then select the option system now once the system uh, page opens up you'll have to click on the link that says advanced system settings having done that you'll have to uh, look for the performance option under advanced and then click on the option settings now by default uh, this particular tab will open in visual effects uh, option and then it will be highlighted that let windows choose what's best for my computer and in here you will see a lot of uh, checkboxes and all of them are pretty much related to animations fade in effect fade out effect and so on so it also gives you two options is this adjust for best appearance uh, it will check all of them and adjust for best performance so it will uh, cut out all the animations that are there now if you want you can check mark on a few of them let's say uh, that is you want enable peak option that is very useful as to the show desktop option and uh, also the animations in the taskbar that gives you the uh, I mean an ongoing window of what's going on in all the running programs so you can uh, make a custom selection here and then click on apply now once you click on apply uh, all these particular changes will be made permanent and now as you can see when you close a window uh, and uh, when you open the taskbar you'll not see that smooth animation that you uh, used to see most of the times and uh, now let's see you are you are moving a window so you'll not also see the windows that is there you'll also you'll only just see the outline so these are some of the nifty settings that will come into effect but it will not I mean it will give you a less visual appeal but it will uh, speed up your Windows 10 computer in a significant way now the second tip in the list is to disable the startup items now previously in the older window, uh, version of Windows uh, like, like the Windows XP, Windows 7 we used to uh, open up the MS config and uh, used to make the necessary changes but now uh, in Windows 8 and Windows 10 Microsoft has eased uh, this particular setting and you can now right click on your uh, taskbar and then select the option task manager. Now in here uh, it will give you processes performance app history and the fourth tab it says startup and that's where you need to click now under startup it will give you the names of the programs that are automatically started when your windows 10 starts uh, starts up and indeed it takes it uh, it takes its own sweet time to load these particular application and if you don't want uh, to use these application right after windows start you can actually right click on it and disable them now there's one uh, particular section that says startup impact and it's a degree of impact from CPU and disk activity that is measured by Windows 10 and then uh, you can just click on it to line up the particular application in terms of the startup impact on the system. So let's say uh, this is Wondershare Studio and if you don't want it you can just click on disable and it will be disabled and it will not run the next time Windows 10, Windows 10 boots up. So uh, just make sure that you don't uh, disable application like your antivirus and uh, your audio drivers and your video drivers which are actually essential for your system to function but apart from that uh, the third party application that you install you can uh, disable it. Now there is a way that you can also delay these applications and I have already uh, I have already taken, up, taken it up in one of the articles that I have shared on Guiding Tech and you can click on the card that you see on the top right hand side section to gain more info on that particular application. So in the third uh, tip, I'll show you how you can disable the indexing process that is the, I mean, Windows indexing all the files and folders so that you can search through them quite easily. Now, if you're not a frequent, uh, if you don't use that particular feature to search through files and folders in Windows 10, why not just disable indexing? And to disable it permanently, you'll have to open the run command box and then type in services.msc. Now, there is an option using which you can uh, exclude and include particular folders from the indexing options in Windows 10. But using services uh, 
window, you can disable the, the Windows indexing option entirely once and for all. So here uh, you'll have to search for Windows search. So let's go down and it says, it says Windows search and you'll see the option is running and it automatically invokes itself when the computer starts it's a delayed startup but yes it will start automatically once the computer starts and this particular option is not available in the taskbar to disable so you need to double click on it and then uh, if you want to stop it right now you can just go ahead and click on stop and it will take it it takes some time and once it's done you can also change the startup type from automatic to disabled so this will make sure that the windows search or the windows indexing will not start up the next time windows 10 boots and indeed it will make uh, your disk i mean your computer a bit faster not too fast but a bit fast because the disk will not be engaged in indexing process whenever it's idle the fourth tip is to allow automatically log on to windows 10 without a password now if you it's a personal computer you're using why waste unnecessary time to type in the password or the pin when your windows 10 boot up and you can just automate the process to log into windows and to do that you'll have to open up the run command box and then type in a command that says netplwiz it will open up the advanced uh, user control menu and here you'll find the particular username along with the group uh, your user is acquired to and uh, you can change the settings over here so on this particular uh, window you'll see an option that says user must enter a username and password to use this computer all you need to do is uncheck this particular option and then click on apply so once you do it for the first time it will show you a username and you'll have to uh, type in the password that you used the first i mean to create this account so let me just give in my password just to make sure that uh, the administrator is only turning off these particular option and uh, that's it you are done and the next time that your computer boots and you can just go ahead and have a cup of coffee or whatever and the computer will boot directly to the desktop mo uh, desktop mode now in here if you also change the settings of the windows startup your computer will actually boot very fast compared to the old time last but not the least uh, the tip number five is to change the computer processor speed when it's in different power mode so let's say you work on your laptop on the battery most of the times and that's where you get i mean a reduced performance from your processor just to increase the battery life now most of us are not aware of this so to change the particular settings you'll need to right click on the battery icon that you see on your windows 10 computer and then click on the option that says power options now in this particular window it will give you i mean all the power uh, option that are there that you choose so if you're in balance mode and you work most of the time in balance mode even though you are on battery you need to select that and then select the option change plan settings now once you do that uh, it will give you turn off display and put the computers to sleep and different time next to it but it's really not necessary i mean uh, changing them will not speed up your computer here you need to click on change advanced power settings and it will open up a window now scroll down at the bottom and you'll see processor power management and that's where you'll see the option that says minimum pro minimum processor state and maximum processor state now if you click on it it for me it's i have kept both of them 200 percent that says whenever it's on battery it says 100 percent and plugged in 200 percent and the minimum processor state it says on battery five percent and plugged in five percent now for most of you this particular thing will be like somewhere around to 80 or 70 percent and this will give you a lesser performance on your battery whereas uh, sorry less, less performance on your processor but will increase the battery life but if you work on battery most of the time uh, you can just change it to 100 and uh, apply the settings so this will make sure that you get 100 percent of your computer even though it will consume a bit of a battery life but then your work will be done faster so uh, I mean, it's you to choose what do you want. You want a longer battery life. I mean, when you're watching videos and stuff, you can change this particular settings or create an entirely new power menu. And that's upon you. So friends, uh, these were the five tips you can use on Windows 10 to make it faster. If you have any doubts, please do ask me in the comment section. If you like the video and the efforts behind it, please don't forget to press the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do press that uh, subscribe button you see uh, below the video 
and be a part of our community. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. Till then take care and have a wonderful day.